Hey guys, Tiggity Tigre here. Here we have another role playing toy review. Here we have the Shudo Phone from Samurai Sentai. Shikenger. I almost lost what the, the hell the name of this toy was. Anyway, this is a very nice toy, so let's go over the um, design and paint apps on this toy. As you can see here, we have the front um, the front panel of the Shodophone. As you can see here, if you can read that, it says Shodophone ST33 Digital Changer. 2009 is the time. It has full bars and full battery. It basically says this, this show came out in 2009. It is the 33rd um, uh, Super Samurai season, which is very nice. We'll go over the back here. We have the um, camera. We have the light or to, uh, either one and we have the speaker here's the battery compartment which holds L2 LR44 batteries um, we can see here we have uh, if you read that Bandai 2008 made in China and we have some other 2009 gibberish here it's a very nice little um, cell phone I really like the reddish orange um, coloring here love the this wooden um, molded um, piece right here to house the brush and here's a little um, keychain thing here, so you can have a phone charm, uh, phone charm that they like to have in Japan, which is very nice. We turn over here, and here we have the small little power switch here. Um, we're gonna open the phone here, and as you can see here, it is very nice here. Um, here's the buttons. These um, these two rows of buttons are actual buttons. This is a molded plastic. Here's where the light will be shown. And here's the um, home screen, which is very nice, very nicely um, placed. Here we have the um, functions of the phone. We have here the brush mode, the origami mode, the phone mode, message mode, camera mode, and the settings. And here we have 2000, uh, 2009 for the time or the year. Here's the Shiba logo, full battery, full uh, full strength and we have a nice picture of the henshin.jpg looks like somebody sent them away to henshin which is very cool I really like that um, that is basically all that this does uh, in its cell phone mode so now we're gonna institute institute where did I get institute from <laughs> so we're gonna show off the brush mode which is very simple and very innovative for this phone um, all you have to do is see this part right here where it ha houses the plastic buttons all you have to do is take that side and rotate it all the way down and the brush pops out it's just plastic with um, just molded to look like a brush it's retractable and you see the Shota phone thing right here you see the front part of the of the phone now reappears into the brush mode. We have the different colors here, as you can see. So this helps with the uh, summoning of your origami modes, so they can actually make them into Zords or their or their uh, mecha. It's very nice. You can see red, blue, green, yellow, and pink. It is a very nicely made toy, and it's very well designed. I really do love the brush mode in this, which is very cool. Um, so that is basically all about the design and the paint apps on this phone. So let's go over the lights and sounds. So here we're back. Now we're going to show off the lights and sounds by switching that on. And as you can tell, you can hear the very low sound of the Shota phone. Now this is not the Japanese release. This is actually the Bandai of Asia release. So uh, yeah, I bought this off of eBay and the eBay seller actually put it in the description that the volume level of this um, of this toy is very, very low. It's very sad because, you know, the Japanese release did not have that problem. For some reason, when they um, started making these toys for the Asia release, um, they had some problem with the speaker or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just because of the brush feature. I don't know why they messed up that up, but uh, whatever. Um, it does really bring this toy down a lot, actually. So we're going to go over some of the functions, which is basically just um, pressing these buttons, which you'll see here. I'll bring the I'll bring this a little bit closer as you can hear. See, as as you can see, the um, white buttons here only make t um, just make regular tone sounds. Pressing the green button will instant uh, will show off the um, ringer. Press that one more time. And here, 
will do each of the origami. You can see that's the lion or the, um, man, I forgot all these sounds. That's blue. It's sounding on dragon. That should be bear, so that's green. Here's yellow, which is the ape. And here we have yellow, uh, pink, which is the turtle or the uh, tortoise or whatever she wants to call it. So that is basically all the sounds that it does in its phone mode. So now we're gonna switch it into its brush mode. Now as soon as I turn this on, I actually summon it into, summon it, transform it into brush mode, it will automatically go into the henshin. So when I do that, all you have to do is do the symbol, just like in the show, and you press the green button and then you um, finish it off and then you finally get to become a Shikinger. So let's do that now. So we're gonna bend it over. Now do your sound, do your symbol, which I'll do fire, which is this, 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 and that. Press the green button here. Yay, you are a Shikinger. Very cool. So, um, you can actually do it again without having to open and close the brush mode. By just pressing this green button again, it'll be very quick. It won't be um, forever lasting like it does when you first open it into brush mode. So we'll just do a quick one by pressing the green button. Okay, cool. So uh, we'll press the buttons here. These still retain their same sound effect and these buttons will retain them too. Now you just have it in brush mode so you can actually summon your um, origami. So let's just play a couple of these. Yeah, so they're the same sound effect as it was in phone mode. So I'm not gonna re-demonstrate those again. As you can see here, I really like the, the silver stripe here. I really do like that and I really do love the brush. And I love how it's color coded so you know which animal that you're actually summoning. So that is basically all that this um, that this toy does. So I'm gonna bring it back into phone mode and bring the box back so we can go over my final opinion. So my final opinion on the Shoto phone from Samurai Sentai Shikenger. It is a very nice toy. I gotta admit, um, I love the um, cell phone gimmick. Some you know, most of the time, some uh, people really do not like the phone gimmick for most of these changes. But I really do like it. I really, I really think it goes well because it's kind of like a modern. Um, device for a uh, team that is basically supposed to be there for hundreds of years which is very nice through many generations which is very nice I really do like that um, the folding gimmick to make it into brush mode is a very interesting um, part of this changer which I really do enjoy um, paint apps is very well done I love the uh, henshin.jpg as you can see on the front screen there um, I do I actually really do like the box I really do love how you see um, chicken red holding the uh, window for the shutter phone which is very nice also my only faults with it because this is the Bandai of Asia release it has a bad it has a very bad speaker so you can barely hear it I don't know if my camera was really gonna be able to pick that up but um yeah it's it's very hard to understand so if you were looking for something that is very well um uh, very accurate towards the show you can still get the Bandai Vasia release it's not that bad if you're looking for perfect sound effects you might as well try to find the Japanese release because this uh, it's very sad that this was not you know perfect because it looks perfectly it looks perfect uh, compared to the Japanese release and obviously a lot better than the uh, American Samurai Samurizer um, you can find this on eBay because these are very cheap. They're going very cheap because it's the, the sound effect and no one's really buying it. So you can buy this pretty cheap. So this is Tickety T Gray saying thanks for watching guys. Um, if you like my videos, definitely help me out by liking, commenting down below, subscribing above, leaving me messages. I'll definitely answer your questions if you have any or I'll definitely answer any of your comments. I definitely love to hear the feedback from my fans and from my subscribers. So uh, Tickety T Gray again saying thanks for watching and bye guys.